Well, hello from Normandy. Um, this is the first time uh, I've tried uh, using my tripod as a gimbal, so we'll see how it's going to work. But uh, anyway, uh, we're on holiday here, um, just uh, south west of Dieppe, and uh, I've decided to try a new thing. Um, so the new thing is uh, doing a vehicle safari and the idea being that uh, if I come across a car, a bus, a lorry, whatever, whatever vehicle, as long as it's uh, something that's a little bit old, something that interests me, uh, I'll do a short clip of it and uh, try to join these short clips together to make a whole video. So at the moment it's all in the sort of testing stage. Um, I've taken a few videos already of various bits and pieces uh, so I'm completely out of sync and so I hope to you know put this video together and give it a try so I hope you enjoy the various clips and uh, feel free to leave your comments in the, the appropriate place at the bottom of the video so uh, I'll probably do a, a sort of uh, goodbye thing at the end of the video um, we're going to be spending another week here in uh, Normandy and then uh, another further week down in the southwest of France uh, in the Dordogne. So I hope to also find a few other interesting vehicles to take uh, videos and pictures of down there. So I'll just leave you with a, a little bit of a shot of uh, where I was staying and uh, enjoy the various little clips. Uh, we're staying in a small jeep. Uh, uh, here in Normandy, uh, the owner of the, the Jeet is walking towards me. So that's a Jeet, and, and over there we have uh, Maison d'Hôte. Uh, it's basically two apartments in, in the side of this house. Um, apparently, the, the building was uh, kit built in Poland and transported to France to be assembled, so that's kind of interesting. The complete uh, thatch roof, it's a really nice looking building. So it's quite remote here and uh, we're able to uh, go for walks and things. Uh, we're about 15 minutes away from the coast. And yeah, it's a lovely spot. Oh, and a bit of bonus footage for you. This is uh, what I've been using as a gimbal. Uh, basically been holding it like that. Obviously it doesn't help with stability or anything, but it helps me to get a good angle on the camera. So this is a um, sort of tripod that was owned by my granddad. Um, yeah, it actually extends out here. Uh, I'm not going to do all three of the, the legs, but it extends out quite a way. More than that. Uh, it's probably about three times as long, um, but uh, yeah, it dates from the 1950s, I think it's German, um, a Birora, can't really see that, so yeah, it's uh, something that's a uh, bit of a family heirloom and uh, I keep on using it for my various pictures and things. So uh, there you go, a bit of bonus footage of the, the uh, gimbal stroke tripod. I just walked up a hill. Uh, <laughs> our evening uh, walk uh, near the Gite where we're staying here in Normandy and uh, came across this uh, strange looking thing. Looks like some sort of stock car or something like that. Probably a Peugeot. But uh, yeah, it's different. So we have an old high mobile camper van with a Mercedes chassis uh, here in the Villette sur mer um, Not a lot else of interest in the car park. Not an original Renault Master but a nice one all the same and uh, ex-service vehicle Chevron's on the back. An old 106. Parked here is um, a Dacia Logan MCV or Dacia if you're French. Um, we'll have a little bit of a comparison uh, with our um, Renault Grand Scenic, uh, which you'll see in a minute. There we go. And you can see uh, they're both Renaults effectively. 
here we have this lovely old combi in uh, St Valery on Coe which is just down the coast from uh, Villers sur Mer and uh, this van is in uh, a car park just below an old World War II German gun emplacement which you can visit if you like climbing steps up to the top of the cliff we didn't so we had some nice creps so we're on a nice long walk and uh, we've come across a what looks like a Renault Rodeo uh, one of the R said it's a Maori but no it's not it's a Renault 4 with a Jeep body I think and next to it is an original Micra there we go two for the price of one So the owner of uh, the Jeep where we're staying has this lovely uh, Dacia Duster in uh, very basic spec. I love them, I really do like these cars. Well, sorry in advance for any wind noise. Uh, I'll zoom that out a little bit, that's better. Uh, so we're on the coast and uh, it seems that every time I, I take uh, a video on the coast, well, you end up with lots of uh, noise. So we've got another Mercedes camper van like the other day. So I thought I'd include that because they look quite nice. So after the Mercedes is lovely uh, transit. You don't see many of those about. A very unusual looking body. Nice basic spec uh, Dacia. Dacia, Dacia, Sandero. So it's uh that's about eight o'clock I think in the morning and we're just packing the car ready to go uh, it's all nice and full still trying to get used to using the screen on this thing uh, but it's full and we've got uh, some other things to add there we go so uh, yeah uh, we've been up since seven and uh, going to be leaving around ten o'clock I hope uh, with a very full car stop off in Tours um, at a hotel and then we're off to the Dordoin. So that uh, ends this part of the the video with the uh, Normandy vehicles I've seen here and about. And uh, now we're going to see if we can find anything in the Dordoin. So catch you later. So here we've got a uh, Mark II Clio. Um, don't see so many of them around now. This one's got sort of twin headlights within the headlight. So we're en route to Tour. Um, we're near, I think, every more modern Dacia, Dacia Duster. Ooh la la la! Oh, we seem to be uh, going mad with the camper vans just lately. See, it's a nice uh, Talbot, Talbot Peugeot. Quite a long one. There's a cut underneath, you probably can't see. The temperature outside seems to be, uh, I don't know, probably early 30s at least. Earlier on we had some rain, so that was nice, but uh, now it's really, really hot. Hard enough. Whew. So there we have the uh, things are marked to your Renault Espace. Um, and over here, Citroën Citroën. So they're getting a bit old now. So we're en route from uh, Tour to Brunton. So, welcome to the Dordoin. Um, we're staying at my father-in-law's house uh, in uh, Brantom, which is just to the north of Perigueux. And facing the house is a car park. So in this car park, um, I've taken uh, photographs of a few gems. Usually get something interesting in parking up, like a uh, Morgan or Bentley or Mercedes or um, a 2CV, so all sorts. So hopefully we'll find something interesting. It's lovely Peugeot 104, uh, which uh, is here in uh, Brown Tom in the Dordogne. And uh, it's a daily runner. It looks imp impeccable. It's amazing. And now we've got a nice Citroen Diane. I just got up and heard it. Couldn't see it from where I was sitting. And there we are. Lovely looking, uh, lovely looking Diane and a Twizy just came in. Oops, I missed that one. Yep, so occasionally we see some Dianes and two CVs around here. They're not really common, but uh, you know, they're lovely to see. 
a bit too modern, but uh, this C3 has interesting graphics. Um, in fact, the, my favourite uh, modern car is the S3. So by chance, there's a DS3. Um, strange looking graphics. But nice, all the same. I just caught it as it went away. It's after a massive storm last night and rain all night until now. It's about uh, 11 o'clock in the morning. Here's a lovely uh, Box standard Dacia or Dacia Logan. This nice uh, Cadillac, which I've seen before here in Grand Tom uh, a few years ago. So I think it's owned by somebody who lives in the local area. But uh, strangely, it's got uh, German number plate. So excuse the mask and the muffled uh, talking. Uh, it's nice Renault Express. Don't see so many around, but you know, it's typically French. Right, well we're back home, I've uh, been back home since uh, last Sunday, it's now uh, Wednesday, so uh, in a few days, just having a little bit of a rest, settling back into things again, got so much to that needs doing, uh, obviously when you go away for three weeks, uh, that's what happens, you come back, the garden is, uh, well, we didn't have any rain as such here, so the, the garden is all yellow and nothing's really grown luckily for us but uh, we had some storms and so as you can see here we've got a lot of uh, bits from trees all over the driveway uh, which is a constant battle um, anyway we're back home and uh, when I arrive back home we receive this thing so a bit far away I need to see just to get close to the camera so this was waiting for me or rather waiting at a neighbour's uh, when I got home and uh, go away what and um, yeah they very kindly hold, hold on to, held on to it for us um, it was a bit of a panic because the delivery person took it back to the depot uh, good old FedEx and so there we go we've got the, the bumper to or rather the Nerf bar, the Nerf bar even that uh, I guess you call that uh, one of those in English I'm not sure what you call it in French I think it's uh, a potage par shock so there we go, that's cost me 100 euros. The next uh, challenge will be trying to fit it onto the chassis with the van. Uh, and then I have to repair the front panel. So there we go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it was a bit of a clips that I've taken uh, on our travels. Um, you know, these things were a bit unpredictable and uh, you know, you can't always uh, find what you want when you're looking for vehicles on the vehicle safari but I think we found a good selection and um, yeah it was great fun so I hope you enjoyed those so that's really my first vehicle safari video uh, if you notice on my t my um, playlist I've labeled some previous videos I've um, uploaded over the last uh, year or so and labeled those as vehicle safaris too to try to keep things a bit more consistent so you've got an M1 um, uh, film, a small film, just a few clips, uh, which was taken by my dad on his cine camera back in the 60s. Uh, from memory, I've got a um, visit to the um, Transport Museum in Luxembourg, and there's another one I can't remember. So, anyway, there's quite a few on there. And also, if you uh, like uh, photographs of old uh, vehicles, 
Um, I mean, obviously, I'm sort of a bit biased because uh, I tend to have a lot of uh, cars and probably more buses than cars. But I'm trying to take pictures of various uh, road, road vehicles, um, lorries, fire engines, anything really. Um, so if you go to Esson Image, Esson is E double S O double N E, which is the region where I live here in France. Uh, Esson Image, I M A G E dot space, and that will take you to my site with loads of photographs. I'm trying to update it when I can, but uh, that's sort of in tandem with these videos now. Um, so yeah. Thanks for watching, uh, feel free to subscribe if you feel interested enough in what I do and uh, I'll see you in another video, take care, bye bye.